Okay, finally, I'm ready to start recording the episode number one, actually, of Emacs is Great, where I'm hopefully going to show how to use um, the built-in package manager to install stuff. And we're going to talk about use package, which is going to be used heavily through this series. Um, I'm going to probably change the name of this not from Emacs is great or Emacs is cool, but to fast finger demos or something like that. This is probably the fifth, sixth time that I've tried to get started and fat fingered things. And so this is going to be, there's another guy out there that's doing one take demos. This is going to be a fat finger demos. So let's get going. Emacs, fine. Okay. And this, I put in projects, Emacs. All right, uh, so you can see all my other stuff that I got here. Clean Emacs, okay. And we want to my init.org. And I forgot to add the C. That's what this fat fingered stuff does, and this also got a node over there. Ah! Try that again. Here we go. And it's asking me this again. Now, there's a problem. First time I ran this. Let's see if it's still here. If there's a dot emacs. No. Okay. Let's see what in it. So. Where did it put those things? Hmm, weird. It's putting these things somewhere. Somewhere it's putting. You saw in the beginning it asked me if I wanted to allow it to use these uh, custom variables, and I do. And it has to record that somewhere, so I'm not sure where. Well, maybe when I quit. Okay, let's try this. No, it's going to ask me every time until we add them there. Okay, we'll do that another time. Let's add a to-do for that for here. To do. about custom variables. Okay. Okay. Now, what I wanted to show you guys about Figlet, but I think before we can get started with anything else here, we want to do the uh, package manager. <clears throat> so, so we can do here is we can. Um, I'll show you them. This is there's a package manager that we can see at um, list packages, and I'll show you all the packages that are available. So let's see about that. Now. Let's take a look at that now. Let's take a look at that now. Where is it? Uh, so help function uh, list packages. Yep. This is gonna display a list of all the packages, and we can. Let's get org. I think there's something where we can grab a link for this. Store link, that's what it is. Org store link. And so next time we're gonna wanna org insert that link. And this is good, that's for the basic package manager, and that's what you can do to search for and install packages. Um, let's use that for installing use package. Uh, but I'm not going to do it that way. There's the package manager. We wanted to be sure that we always have uh, pack this installed. So let's get source. For, let's get a source block going here. Source next. 
this. Another to do here. A source code blocks. Fault two. Uh, how do you do make the that little in up to max? Yes. Okay, so what we want to do is if we saw there is the use package where we can <coughs> sorry where we set it to load all our packages so let's find the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we are requiring the package That's going to make us use the package, so the, the the whole use package, not the use package, but the built-in package manager for Emacs. Let's run that. And let's see, what else do we need to add here? We need to add, we can add some other package archives, but I'm going to leave that for now. For now. Um, and we can do, we want to initialize the packages. See what that does. Okay, this is going to <clears throat> see. I, I don't really know if we need this because we're going to be using the use package later. So let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this. Okay, if user init file does not mention package initialize. Okay, this, I'm not sure if we actually need this, but we'll take a look at it. This is the, what I had before, so. We don't want it to really load any packages at the start. We want, we want, we want to specify exactly what package we want. So, we'll, let's leave it here though. On that. Oh no. Go and see if that did something. My init that file. Weird. Init that el. Yeah. So here it adds this package initialized to it. When So each time it's gonna, each time we build it, we're gonna add this package initialize anyway. So it doesn't really so matter. Here, see, I, I saved it. And you see, we go back here and we revert the buffer. We're gonna have package initialize anyway. Okay. And okay, let's see. So we've got the package manager initialized, and we are gonna want to install a package. How do we go about doing that? The package, what we want to do is something called use package. But we only, and we can do that with package install. And this is going to be the same thing as, let's see something, as if I went to list package, I can do list packages. And then I can search for a use package, which is actually not here. This might be in one of the other one in uh, Melpa, or the other ones which are repositories. Let's get out of here. Let's go to packages package. Think fat fingers. See, this is why I want to fresh. Now let's try a few packages there. We can actually jump to this right from here. Install, use, 
no, not there. So, this is the package that I went into. Let, let's take a look at some other ones that we've got here, and maybe we can just to see what you would. This package is. Uh, there is something here. Uh, maybe hungry delete is here. Hungry delete us in here either. What do we? We don't have anything here. What is it? You can you can click on a package. It'll show you something about it. ASCII art to Unicode. I'll show you exactly what that does. No, that's not what I want. Um, let's see. Ooh, let's install chess. Okay. Which I'm not actually going to play, but we can do it from here. So chess, yeah, chess in the little package. Play chess in the Emacs. So we mark it with I to install, and then X to apply. Done, right? So that okay. Now it's going to the uh, repository and it's downloading all the things for chess. Um, asking me to save. Nope. It's asking you to save any open files that you have. So now we should have chess. Chess is installed. Yeah, yeah that's great. Great. Kill this buffer. Let's quit this. Now let's quit out of here and let's quit out of here. And let's make some. Okay, so we could have used package install chess. Let's do package uninstall. And here, package uninstall. Package. Remove maybe. Package. Maybe you can't do it from there. So let's try it from here. Let's try it as a package. Remove. Weird. Now I know that you can uninstall them, so let's go back to list packages. I know from there we can do it. We have chess installed. Now, now let's hit the question mark here. So what the that showed us what we want. That's not what I wanted. That's H K N. No. That fingers H V. Show us the bindings that we have here. Now it should be Marcus uninstalled here. Major mode bindings. Scroll up, down, down. Let's search for. On. So, no. Remove maybe. Remove. Weird. Oh, we'll give you a refresh. Purge away. I have no idea how to remove these things again. <laughs> Let's see from here, from down here. Other versions. Delete package. Oh. Okay, let's try that again. Package. Delete. Any of that's that's what it is. Package delete. Chess. Okay. Now we can quit this and we fresh the buffer here. And we can search for chess. And it should be not installed now. Great. Okay, so we've found that. Now we need we want uh, package install use package to work. So, which is going to make all these things about specifying which packages we want and loading them a lot easier. Uh, so, but to do that first, we need to add some more repositories. I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to copy a few repositories. And let's go back over. Uh, and after we require a package, we can do add to list. Okay, so here you have Melpa. And uh, you can find out about Melpa. Let's take a look and if this is gonna work. We can do with you. Let's 
see what Melt is. Uh, it doesn't really tell us anything about Melt is. Yeah, th so this tells us about um, packages. It gives us more packages that we can use. There is a <clears throat> there's also a stable and then there's the unstable version. So, which I have here, here's stable and here is the not, whatever, not stable. And here is the other package for org mode. Now, let's go and add each of these. And okay, now we've got all of our packages. Let's initialize package again. Now package install use package is not available because I didn't refresh packages. So let's close that out. Let's get it to We forgot to do um, package refresh contents. This we can do here. Now it's going to connect to all of these different um, the different hosts that we have, and it's going to download the list of the packages. I wonder how much time this is. This seems like this has been a long one here. Yeah, we've been recording 17 minutes well. Okay, so I'm just going to get the use package installed. And then I will break this up into a second video. Okay, now we could be able to use package. Yeah? Yes? Oh. It's every time going to ask me if I want to save these files. should probably save that. Okay, now we have use package installed. Now, we want something here that we don't want to do this every time installing new use package. So we're just gonna we can check to see if a package is actually installed. Here and we will do if the pack unless the package is if the package is is oops. Yeah, if the unless so that means if the package is not installed, then we're gonna install it. Okay, so now we have now we should have use package installed. Let's run this whole block. Yes. One of the things now I just wanna mention that during you see it didn't try to uninstall install it again because we have it. Let's just run this and it'll tell us that, that the package is installed. Chew in the in the mini buffer there. Um <coughs> So that is how we install. We get use package. Stop. So let's put a little. <laughs> yep. And use package and which will also do this will also we're setting up our archives okay so next time when we start up we will be able to get ahead and use use package right away and so we tangled our two code blocks here. And I'm going to Now we're going to on the next video I'm going to show how you actually use package. Use use package. Okay, let's take a stop for now. 
and I will catch you on the next one. So please leave in the comments, let me know what you think about these, if I'm wasting time. I know I'm covering things that a lot of people have already covered. Um, and if I should just breeze through these, I I'm trying to give a lot of explanation if I can. Uh, but you see them fat fingering things. Okay, so let's stop recording here. And I'll do another one in a few minutes.